What is the hinge loss in SVM in machine learning? The hinge loss is a loss function used in support vector machine algorithm for binary classification programs. And this hinge loss is a very specific type of cost function that incorporates a margin or distance from the classification boundary into the cost calculation. So even if new observations are classified correctly, they can incur a penalty if the margin from the decision boundary is not large enough. The hinge loss increases linearly. Now in SVM, the goal is to find the optimal hyperplane that separates the positive and negative examples in the data. The hinge loss measures the error associated with the distance between the predicted output and the actual output for each training example. Now mathematically the hinge loss is represented as follows that is the loss function is equal to max of 0 and then 1 minus y times fx where y is a true class level that is plus 1 on minus 1 and fx is the predicted output for the given input x and max of 0 and the second element is a hinge function. So the hinge loss penalizes predictions that are on the wrong side of the margin that is the distance between the hyperplane and the closest point from either class. It encourages the SVM algorithm to find a hyperplane that maximizes the margin and correctly classifies as many training examples as possible. The SVM optimization problem involves minimizing the sum of the hinge loss over all training examples subject to a constraint on the margin. By minimizing the hinge loss, SVM aims to find the hyperplane that separates the two classes with the maximum margin and the fewest misclassification. Now let's look at these uh, loss calculation function of hinge loss and to understand it better uh, actually that how uh, under the hood it's actually working to maximize the margin. So the product y times fx can be seen as a measure of how well the prediction aligns with the true level. A large positive value for y times fx indicates a correctly classified point that is far from the decision boundary while a value close to zero indicates a point that is very close to the decision boundary and a negative value of y times fx indicates a misclassified point. So the hinge loss, uh, this function can have three results or three different scenarios. The first scenario is when y times fx is much greater than one. In this case, the loss is zero as a point is on the correct side of the margin. The hinge loss function encourages a model that correctly classifies points and maintains a very good margin. Then the next situation is when the y times fx is greater than 0 but less than 1. In this case, the loss is positive but less than 1. The hinge loss function penalizes points that are within the margin even if they are correctly classified. This encourages a model that maximizes the margin between classes. And the third scenario is when y times fx is less or equal to 0. In this case, the loss is greater than or equal to 1. The hinge loss function heavily penalizes misclassified points, emphasizing the importance of correctly classifying points over maximizing the margin. And now let's uh, investigate the hinge loss uh, plotting. And it's a classic image that you will see in many literature. Uh, so there are a few things to note here that this dotted line that you see on the x-axis represents the number one. This means that when an instance's distance from the boundary is greater than or equal to one, our loss is zero. Keep this in mind as it will really help in understanding the maths of the function. And then if the distance from the boundary is zero, meaning that the instance is literally on the boundary, then we incur a loss size of one. And we see that the correctly classified points will have a small or no loss at all, while incorrectly classified instances will have a high loss size. A negative distance from the boundary incurs a high hinge loss. This essentially means that we are on the wrong side of the boundary and that the instance will be classified incorrectly. 
On the flip side, a positive distance from the boundary incurs a low hinge loss or no hinge loss at all and the farther we are away from the boundary and on the right side of it, the lower our hinge loss will be. And overall, the mechanism here is that you minimize the loss for a data set by considering all possible linear boundaries, computing their loss scores and picking the boundary whose loss score is the smallest.